And here we go! A special edition live commentary action underway! Girthy JD we're following right now. First circle about a minute and 50 seconds away from closing. 65 people left in the game, and he's got his first kill on his way back from the Goosh. Perfect time to introduce everybody. Greg, the Grim Reaper, my co-host, alongside me. What's happening, everybody? We got DJ GG. You'll hear the sound effects from her today, and we'll be playing from the one and only DJ GG and Derek, our on-field reporter. Oh, hey, Derek, how's it going out there? Good to have you, Derek, as always. Looks like a cloudy one in Verdansky. A little bit of lightning on the backside. Oh, yeah. Oh, one side of the map, pretty sunny. The other side, a uh, little cloudy. A little bit of thunder lightning coming in from that side. I don't know. Maybe we'll see a little thunderstruck later. You know what I'm saying? Derek, not wrong with that one, potentially. 57 people left in the game. Now, Heinz Ketchup. As Girthy JD is just taking his good old time. He's just floating back in. He's down by Promenade East right now, crossing over to around the park area. As multiple continue to drop in the game, but he is getting rather low, but he's just cruising along. Hasn't broken parachute, hasn't looked around, just steadily cruising back into the map. It's by the restaurant and park now. Looks like you might call it a landing by the playground in the back right now. Yeah, he's finally touched down. Here we go. Girthy JD. Just gonna go. Oh boy. Greg? Oh, what is he doing? Oh, he has gone prone in the back of park. Maybe, you know what? Uh, Greg could be waiting on the loadout to drop, which just did. The 15 second mark of the first circle closing just came in. There is some loot underneath, and Girthy JD will hit that. That's the bathrooms next to playground on the south side of park. Oh, how about this? Back to back red boxes. First red box. I didn't even know this was great. I didn't even know they had it in the red box yet. Godzilla versus Kong. And in the second red box, he pulls out Mortal Kombat. Wow, this is an, uh, an updated red box if I've ever seen. Wow, that's a, that's a great collection there. Yeah, I mean, look at him. He's got a, he's got the uh, satchel now, seven plates and that. Stopping power rounds he found. He's got a PPSH in hand as he works towards his loadout, too. 3,400 cash as well. See what the loadout he chooses. Car and the PPSH. Go with the stun grenade and the Semtex. Be running amped as well. Has the variable scope on the scar. Pops the the stopping power rounds in the PPSH. He's got the big boy clip on there. The 71 round drum. When been wanting to see more of the PPSH, see it in play. Uh but then I didn't know they added a uh, See, still learning some new stuff. This will be the first official live commentary YouTube special on Verdansky 84. As Girthy JD has now worked himself into fire. Uh, this is still with Inside Park, right on the edge of downtown. But he's just gone to the second floor and he's camping inside. There is a buy station outside. Maybe get some action from there, but we'll see if we get Derek, our on-field reporter, over there to check in. 36 people left in the game, and only one kill for Girthy JD. It looks like he's just going to go for the dub. Just going to be looking for a dub. We might be in this corner a while. Greg? Oh, don't worry. Camper clock has started. He's been there for 20 seconds thus far. Oh, boy. This could be quite the camp session. Yeah, Greg, as we take a look at the circle here, he's basically centered a little bit south of it, but the, the circle itself is going to engulf a stadium. Uh, mostly a bit of the north side of this will be TV station and array. Factory and Superstore will be to the west of it, just on the edge, along with train station, promenade east, and hospital downtown. Going to be your central focal points right now. Park as well. So uh, here comes a rover, though, down across the bridge from hospital and promenade east. Might stop at the buy station. Let's see how he reacts. A sniper shot came off of one of the downtown buildings right next to uh, the fire station across the street, that big white building. We see the rover stop right next to a Bertha. And Car 98 comes out from Girth. Let's see what he does with it. Taking his jailbreak. time. Oh, no, not a jailbreak. Oh, boy. Classic. We get a jailbreak. As we see Girth, Girthy JD fire off one car shot out of this fire station window. Uh, I'm going to attempt to land right back on him, I think. Oh, camper clock's up to a minute, even though I did shoot a shot out there. Yeah, well, we will see. Uh, this happens from time to time. 
ruins by KD will drop back in and then die immediately. We'll see if we get right back to Girth. Done your time, soldier. Now get back out I'll just try to land on top of him and see if it gives us back to him. But, oh, it's spawning me in the farm. I'm going to work my way over there. Take a look at the circle again. A minute and 40 seconds before the second circle does close. Somebody's on the buy station. We hit her face off the side of the wall of fire station. You can see Girthy JD still upstairs on the second floor. Somebody was, in fact, on the buy station. And it isn't going to bring us back to them. It actually is going to take us to whoever was on top of that white building right across the street from fire that was shooting down at it. How about this? Actually, no, I take that back. We're on top of the bigger white building in the middle of downtown. Pablo Escobar, and he's got a bounty on his head. We'll see if we can get back to Girthy JD. We had Derek working his way up there and see what was going on with him as Pablo Escobar's bounty it has gone to threat level midnight level three red minute 50 left on it too seems a little panicked here he's got eight plates we're rocking at m13 but the heartbeat sensor aka his ipad is out in full effect here trying to figure out where and when his bounty is going to show up has to be right on top of him. might be working the steps there's multiple ways up now two steps here the zip line zero kills for pablo escobar at 31 left in the game 26 seconds before the second circle closes Oh, yeah, Frank, I uh, just made it over to Girthy JD. He said he's going for his third career dub. Yeah, you heard that right, Frank? Third career dub. And he said he doesn't care about the kills. He's going to hold out. He's going to camp it up and try to lock in that third career dub. No, well, there you have it, Girthy JD. We saw him uh, hunker down inside of the second floor of uh, fire there in a very safe position. And now we know why. Doesn't care about the kills going for... His third career dub. We'll see if we can get back to him. We'll see where he is later in the game if we still see him out there. But Pablo Escobar now, who we're on, still with the threat level all the way up. 40 seconds left on it. And Greg, yeah, don't worry. I got the camper clock on him as well. We, we just coming over. But you got to like this loadout, though. Uzi, Modern Warfare Uzi. Haven't seen that build in a while. Uh... Oh, right outside. There you go, Greg. It's, it's, it, here it is. The bounty is pushing. He's his tracker on. He can see some footsteps inside. Top floor of white here downtown. Oh, my God. The molly is brilliant. But he's going to have some trouble getting around it. He mollies the door. He doesn't hit, hit his bounty, whoever the opponent is pushing him. But he's going to have to wait till that molly expires to even be able to fight after that. He's going to climb up above that door here and see. Oh, my God. This could work to perfection here. Pablo Escobar used that molly to rotate positions. Now holding right above the door. Hops back in, slides in, shots are good. And he downs him. Toilet! You're gonna fall in 27th place as Pablo Escobar throws a little hard on him and drops an execute. Shoots him in the chest, two taps. Wow. First kill for Pablo Escobar, rocking the Uzi again. Got the monolithic on there. The 29, uh, the, uh, excuse me, that's the 50 round mag. The Merc 4 grip on there. M13, that builds the, he's got a red dot on there, monolithic. The Marksman barrel, commando grip, 60 round mag on it. Gotta like to see the M13 and the Uzi getting a little bit of play action right now. Good stuff as Pablo. Greg, he's still running the camper clock on that, huh? Oh, yeah, I mean, technically, he never came off the roof. He's been up here for, like, two minutes now. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hold him to it. 4K for him. Greg, you might be breaking that clock. Might hop off the white roof now. I might have came up here with that bounty. We'll see. He did pick up a bounty of his own. Must have been doing a good amount of... Good amount of contracts. So this bounty worth 10K. We're on the third circle right now. 21 people left in the game. Pablo is still up high. Didn't come down. See somebody across on fire. And he let some shots go. Let him know. Get her some shots close by. That's uh to the north of him in downtown. That little uh that last section of building, that rectangle. You can get up on that roof there, do some hold out there. There's a buy station. You heard some shots there, and one did fall. 19 people up here. We're getting close to it, Frank. Top 10 sitch, baby. Yes, sir. And he's also got 
Well, he has extra ammo down here, but he's going to be full ammo. He's got his iPad on him. The only thing he doesn't have, he does have 4K. He could buy it. Doesn't have a self-res. Has a gas mask, eight plates, Semtex, and an armor box. You think he's going to switch? Just going to take a peek here at the weapons on the ground. Oh, we found some stopping power rounds and an AK off of Toilet, who he killed a little bit earlier now. But he's just going to leave it there and the stopping power rounds. He's going to let it go. Going to keep the Uzi and the M13. His bounty is way off of the distance up by Stadium right now, so... Doesn't look like he's going to be pushing towards that. A minute and 15 seconds left on it. 17 left in the game now. He's pushing three now. We might and we might have a, uh, uh, you know, uh, a commentary record. What was it again, Greg? Four minutes, 45 seconds. Yep, you got it. That's our, that's the record to beat. We've seen a few three minutes. As he's, as Pablo Escobar is now pushing that record on top of this roof. And there he goes. He's going to hop off. He's going for the buy station. Pulls parachute late just to get very low very quickly, and he does. Spends that 4K exactly on a self-res. I like the play. Hops off the roof, scoped it out for a little bit, made sure it was safe, came down, got the self-res, and he broke the camper clock with that too, Greg. Oh, yeah, he did. Like you always say, though, Frank, all play styles are welcome, but hey, we got to have a clock on that, you know? You got to keep the stats. It's all about stats, Greg. Because Pablo Escobar might be going right back to said roof. Takes the zip line on the elevator up and is going to work right back up on top of the roof. Still up here. 15 left in the game. Just overlooking the top. Checking from stadium back to hospital. His north, east, south, west. Fourth circle going to start to close now. Minute and 49 seconds. This could be a factor here. He is still central pretty much. Dead center is going to be the the, uh, the old soccer field, if you will, where the tents are uh, out in the middle of downtown there, right on the road. Uh, that will be south of uh, Fire Station to the, to the west of Stadium. That's where we're looking. Pablo Escobar on top of the big white right next to that. So pretty solid position, pretty much central. You see, how, you, we could see somebody gouging back in. They're going to land on one of the other tall buildings. I don't think Pablo saw it. I think he might have took some shots there. Still floating. Yeah, he, he still doesn't see him. Right to his left. That's, wow, that was in tight. Somebody's going for maybe their loadout. Uh, you got to remember the second loadout should be on the way back. It should be dropping soon here. A, a minute before the fourth, fourth circle does close. And 15 seconds into the fifth circle, you'll see the second loadout drop in game. He's getting beamed. How did that out? Oh, my God. Oh, that is unfortunate. D. Pauly sneaks up behind him somehow. I don't know how he got in there without making a sound, but lit up Pablo Escobar. And Pablo was working his way off the side uh, of the building there. And unfortunately, it wouldn't have mattered. D. Pauly most likely thirst him. But not even a chance to use that self rest. Just falls. 18 stories to his death. Unfortunate. Pablo Escobar done in 12th place. 11 left in the game now. D. Pauly on top of the roof. He's got a precision airstrike, rocking a Krieg and a car. He's got 9,800 on him. Seven plates. No gas mask and no self res. Five kills for him. No lethals right now. Had thermite, no longer has it. He's holding the top of white. A lot of action on top of white. Again, remember Girthy JD, who we were on earlier before the jailbreak set us free and put us right back to our death. Uh. Girthy JD, we don't know if he's still in the game or not. Derek did interview him a little bit earlier. Derek said he was going for his third career win. As D. Paul, he's now going to get a little bit of sniper duel from building to building. Top of the buildings, rooftops, and downtown. Traded to a one shot back and forth. No dice either way. He's going to try to hit a jumping snipe here. Let's see if he does it. Other sniper coming close to hitting. We see a Bertha patrolling. Classic solo BR Warzone Verdansky style there. The Bertha patrolling the map. Shot fired from D. Pauly just off the mark. 
Oh, the jumping shot just off again. Ten, to go. You can win this. ten people left, Greg. Top ten situation. What we play for. What we watch for. Shot hits from Deep Pauly. He's going to take a few plates from him there. Didn't get a crack, but probably two plates taken with a car shot to mid-range chest. Another shot fired just off the mark. A little bit of a sniper battle. Only one shot's landed between the two thus far. Deep Pauly's got to be careful. Yep, that shot comes in. Going to take two plates from him. Oh, he's going to have to eat up three, and somebody just pushed him. How about that? Oh, right on the roof. Terrible timing for him. OFT. OFSTI just takes out Deep Pauly. He also sneaks up on the roof. Very sneaky. Multiple plays on top of that roof. But he gets up there. Sneaks on top of him. 17 kills for OFSTI. Oh, my. He takes that precision airstrike. He's rocking an A-Max. He's got 18K on him. A oh, right below him. Here we go. A-Max is going to come out. Sniper rifle in the building below him. He's got A-Max in the Modern Warfare MP5. With 17 kills, 7 people left in the game. Looking to maybe drop a 20 bomb. He gets a crack on the sniper that's on the building below him. Semtex comes up a little short. He plays every, everything he wants right now. Eight plates, a gas bat's Going to drop a precision airstrike on that opponent down there. Gets the crack. Going to drop in with the MP5. Built with the integral mono, uh, monolithic on there. The perk. Four grip, 45 round uh, mag on there. And the collapsible. Right out front. Oh no, look at this, OF! Oh no, my god! Lee Motar just drops a right. drop shot on OFSTI and he wasn't expecting it! He had him cracked two different times! But Lee Mo just absolutely pulled out the old school drop shot and blew his mind with it. OF just could not bring the barrel down on that AMAX. He had him cracked too when Mo dropped. But Mo's in some trouble now too. He has to rotate the circle. 22 seconds before the sixth one does close. But he's getting gate kept now. Only six people left in the game. Three kills for him. Does have a self res, but no gas mask as he gets cracked. But the stun grenade does hit for him. Might be able to rotate off of this as he is down three plates. As well. See now he's going to try to play back out. That'll leave him with two. Third Mike comes in just close. Not going to hit him. getting tagged from everywhere now. He's down another replay. Oh, he's gonna get dropped. Limo goes down the eight test. Eight test picks up Limo. Limo, you gotta, you gotta, I mean, take out. I mean, we're not even gonna stick on that. How about that? We're gonna go off of that. We're going over to Master Jaffa. He's got seven kills. He's inside of downtown. Let's take a look at this map really quickly here. Uh, only a couple buildings left. We're on the sixth circle. 17 seconds before it, it completely closes. Five people left in the game. As Master is just working the steps right now. He's trying to get high in this building. He's on the eighth floor, and he's got a heartbeat tick. The iPad is in full function in here. Wi-Fi connection is good, and he's got he's got to read. Going to get to the, the 11th floor of this building. Hop out onto the roof here. Still getting ticks. He's in a tough spot to take this fight. This is the roof with two different levels on it here. So he came out on the on the lower level. And he's got to quietly work his way up. He's got an LC-10. Custom. You gotta like to see that. This gun is pretty solid. Very good weapon. And whoever it is seems to be below him. There's only four people left. So one did drop here. But he did get this heartbeat ticks. Yeah, and they're below him. They're going to come up, though. They're going to walk right into him. Oh, boy. Master played that well. Use the heartbeat sensor. Say what you will about the heartbeat sensor, but hey, if it's there, why not use it? He uses it to perfection there. Picks him up, reads him, knows where he's coming from, picks up an easy one. Eighth kill for him. Three left in the game. 1v1v1. One one one. Shot fired from the opposite roof. Master. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's actually going to survive that. Getting shot from the opposite roof. Drops down to lower than 50% health right now. And he only has one plate left. He's going to sneak that on. He's in a bad situation now, but safe for now. Uh, unbelievable. Off that other roof, I really thought he was going to go down. Usually, you see a drop from there. Just gets out of it. Broke his parachute just in time. The circle is going to shift in his favor. He does have a full gas mask. He can make a run for this. No gas. The uh, buy station did disappear, though. That was over this way. So he's not going to be able to buy any more plates. Only one left. But he's going to hard rotate back into the building he just came from with that gas mask. Again, only one plate on him. Gas mask is going to break. Oh, boy. He's going to eat a little bit here. Yep. He got out in front of it a little bit early. He's getting himself a little bit of a clap. He's clapping for himself now. He knows he, he rushed that just a little bit. 
Then the gas ate him up just a little bit. He, he lost basically all of that one plate he had left. And he gives himself a slow clap. <laughs> you gotta like the sense of humor at this stage of the game. Still three people left. Circle gonna shift again for him. Again, now no gas mask. Does have a self-res. And basically no plate. But he's close to this circle as well. Here are some footsteps inside the building. He's getting ready to fight with that LC-10 again. Footsteps right by him. Door opens. Gas. He can't eat any right now. He coughs. He's dead. Hops out right behind one, though. Look at that. Picks him up. Then right across the street. All the shots are good from Master right now. He's got him leading. He's got 14 rounds left in that, bull in that clip, though. He's going to get a reload off. How about this? Again, no plays for Master right now at all. Outside, here's the challenge. Takes a few shots. He's down to 50% health. Fires a couple shots back. The circle's going to shift away from him, and he's going to eat gas. Oh, boy. Down lower than 50%. Again. Oh, wait. Whoever's out in front of him. He did hit a bullet. He should have known he was only body, but he's going to run. A precision airstrike came in from the other opponent. That's what happened there. Dropped a precision on him. Master's trying to fight out of it, though. Around the corner. He's going to go down. No place for him. We'll do it. And Scotch will pull off the dub. Dropped the precision. I thought he was backing off at the wrong time there, but... We don't get the notifications on that. Drops a precision airstrike to give himself some space. Maybe get a replay on there and then plays it cool, calm, and collective around the corner to pick up the kill. So, it, it's SoCo. We'll get the full name here for you in a minute. Picks up the dub. Oh, that was a good one. Well played by that. SoCo and Hitman. SoCom Hitman. There you go. Jeez. Picks up the win. Another shot just misses. Look at this freak. Oh my, it's insane. Oh, oh no. Oh. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll wrap up another live commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe for some more videos coming soon your way. I appreciate it, guys. Till next time.